Hi, I'm George Pearson, and we'll be doing this Photoshop Elements Paint Splatter Portrait Art Effect. And if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share and subscribe. Hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. Check out my channel for hundreds more Photoshop Elements videos. And take a look at my complete training course for Photoshop Elements. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. I'll start this project off by just undoing all this stuff. Let's first get this to fit screen. And then I'll delete all these extra layers in here and go back to the original photograph, which is right there. Now, the first thing I'll do is just to do a real fast photo retouch in here on those blemishes. Nothing special, just want to kind of clean things up. Now I'm using the spot healing brush up here. This is a brush size of 61 and it's a soft edge brush. I've also flipped the photograph. She was looking the other direction and I just flipped that just for effect in here. So this I'll just do a real fast retouch like this. Not much time on this, just a little quick bit of spot healing and a little bit right down there and right there. That looks good. Now we need to center her in the page in here. So I'm just going to move this image a bit, but first I'll just make a duplicate layer just in case and hide that one. And I want to put this so that her eye is just about on the center of the page. Doesn't need to be exact, but somewhere around here looks pretty good. Now we need to fill in this extra space over here on the right hand side. So for that, I'll take the eyedropper tool and I'll just grab a blue right up in here someplace. And then I'll grab the paintbrush and I'll set the size in here to about 250 soft edge brush. You can see it right there. You don't want to go too large on this or it may begin to bleed into the portrait. And then with the soft edge brush, just come in and paint right over that edge like that and then just paint out here. This doesn't need to be critical. We're going to be seeing very little. I just want to hide that hard edge on that line right there. If the hard edge is gone, then everything else will work out just fine. And now let's reset our colors over here to the defaults. Click on the button right there. Black in front, white in back. Okay, now let's do our paint splatters. Come down to graphics and you'll find them over here inside of the shapes section right there. And they're just a little ways down. There's the top. I scroll down. They're not too far down past all these big rectangular things in here, just below that. We have three different of these splatter shapes. I'll use that one right there. Just click on it and it should automatically go onto your page. Now grab the corner and pull this out so it's a lot bigger. And then just position that somewhere in here. You might want to rotate it a little bit, maybe change the direction. That's up to you. We want to simply cover the face up with a few of these and a little bit around the back of the head. Okay, there's our first one. Let's click this again. There's another one. I'll make this a bit larger and I'll change that rotation a bit. And I'll put that over in here somewhere. There we go. And we'll do another one. There it is. Let's rotate this around and make this a bit larger. Grab our corner. And I'll put that one right in here. So we're just building up our paint splatter shapes this way by bringing in several of these. At this point, you can begin going a little bit smaller or just different sizes. They're not all exactly the same. Don't go clear to the bottom. You leave a little bit of space down around the bottom. That helps out the image. We want to stay mostly in this area. Let's go ahead and put a few more in here. You can just resize and do a bit of a rotation on there. I'll put that one right here. And then we'll do just a few more of these. There we are. Get that forehead in there. That looks pretty good. Maybe just a couple more of these small ones. Just leave them small to get some random shapes going on back here. And maybe one kind of off the back end over there would be kind of fun. And then I'll grab this one here. It's little small dot shapes. I'll just add these in. A couple of these like up here. And then maybe another one over in here. This just adds in some more of that paint splatter effect. It's a bit more than I did on the demo, but I kind of like this a bit better. Just a few more of these splatters in and around. I'll rotate this one around like that. Okay, so just a big mess. Looks like you spilled some ink right onto the page like that. All right, let's go back to our layers. And you have a whole bunch of these shape layers. So select your top layer, hold the shift key down, select the bottom shape layer, and then right click and choose merge shapes. That puts them all onto one layer like that. Now. Hold the control key down, click the thumbnail, and then makes a selection out of that whole thing. Now come down to the background, copy right here, and hit the layer mask button. It makes a layer mask, and that hides everything that's not inside of that shape. Now if I hide that shape, 
All we have here is just the girl's portrait. Now if it's not exactly where you want, that's easy to fix. Just come in here, that little icon right there is kind of a little chain link. Click on that and it goes away. You can then double click on the portrait side and then move the portrait around inside of that mask until it's positioned right where you like it. I think right about there looks nice. Okay, now come down to the background layer. We'll add a new layer above this, go up to layer, come down to new fill layer, solid color, choose OK, and click in the middle and then push it to the upper left hand corner and that makes a white layer right there. We now need to add our gradient, come back to the portrait layer and then layer, new fill layer, gradient, and then choose OK. This puts a gradient layer right above your picture. Now click on the gradient itself, there we go, and then choose the spectrums at the bottom on the list right there. You want that third one over, it's just kind of a medium light kind of pastel -y spectrum. Choose OK, and then change your angle around kind of upper left hand corner like that, maybe 130, 140 degrees in there somewhere, I'll just type in 140. So it's a left to right gradient and then choose OK. We now need to blend this into the photograph below. And that's using our blend mode right here and then come down to linear light and that puts that gradient right into the photograph like that. It kind of blends it in with the colors in the photograph. We now need to adjust our values. Come down to the portrait layer, back up to layer and adjustment layer and levels right there where it says use previous layer to create clipping mask. Make sure that is checked. Choose OK. And in here, we want to bring the blacks a lot darker, kind of like that. And the setting I had for this was 66. And then we need to brighten up the rest of the picture. And the numbers that I used down here was 2.06, like that. It just kind of increases the contrast. Let me show you before and after. There's before and there's after. I've brightened up the lights and increased the contrast in the darks. And it gives it more of a graphics kind of effect, kind of an art effect as opposed to just being a colored photograph. Okay, last little step in here. Let's put just a little bit of a beveled edge around these to make them look like they're more three-dimensional and actually paint sitting on a canvas. So for that, come down to the portrait layer right here and then go up to layer, layer style, style settings. And this is down here on bevel. I have my lighting angle set at 150 and then simply increase the bevel size until you have a nice bevel. You can kind of see it right there. There's that bevel edge. Now you don't want to go too far. You want to have just a bit of a bevel edge. And this is a nice soft edge bevel right there. Looks pretty good. And that's at 21 pixels. And choose OK. And there you go. Real fast, real easy, but a real fun artistic portrait effect with this paint splatter effect. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos, and of course, check out my complete training course for Photoshop Elements, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.